first problem says, the reaction of fluorine with ammonia produces dinitrogen tetrafluoride and hydrogen fluoride. There are three questions. A. If you have 66.6 .6 grams of ammonia, how many grams of fluorine are required for a complete reaction? B. How many grams of ammonia are required to produce 4.65 grams of hydrogen fluoride? C. How many grams of dinitrogen tetrafluoride can be produced from 225 grams of fluoride? This is the nomenclature for the atoms and molecules of the first problem. Fluoride is an atom and therefore cannot be classified in the following systems. NH3, also known as ammonia, is a molecule. In classic system, it is called nitrose hydride. In stock system, it is called nitrogen 3 hydride. And in UPAC system, it is called nitrogen trihydride. N2F4 in classic system is called hypernitrous fluoride. In stock system, it's called nitrogen 2 fluoride. And in UPAC system, it's called dinitrogen tetrafluoride. And HF in classic system is called hydrogen fluoride. In stock system, it's called hydrogen fluoride also, and in UPAC system, it's called hydrogen monofluoride. The next thing I did was calculate the molar mass for each of the atoms and molecules of this reaction. I did this by multiplying the mass of those atoms and molecules times the amount of those same atoms and molecules. The answers that I got were 5 moles of fluoride equal 190 grams of fluoride, 2 moles of ammonia equal 34 grams of ammonia. One mole of dinitrogen tetrafluoride equals 104 grams of dinitrogen tetrafluoride. And six moles of hydrogen fluoride equal 120 grams of hydrogen fluoride. This is the procedure for question A. The first thing I did was copy the 66.6 .6 grams of ammonia that are given to me in the problem. Then I multiplied that times one mole of ammonia over 17 grams of ammonia which is the mass of a single mole of ammonia. Then I multiplied that times 5 moles of fluoride over 2 moles of ammonia, because those are the amount of moles of each of the molecules in the reaction. Then I multiplied that times 19 grams of fluoride over 1 mole of fluoride, because 19 grams is the mass of a single mole of fluoride. Then I did the whole equation, and the answer that I got was 186.088 grams of fluoride. This is the procedure for question B. The first thing I did was copy the 4.65 grams of hydrogen fluoride that are given to me in the problem. Then I multiplied that times 1 mole of hydrogen fluoride over 20 grams of hydrogen fluoride, which is the mass of a single mole of hydrogen fluoride. Then I multiplied that times 2 moles of ammonia over 6 moles of hydrogen fluoride, because those are the amount of moles of those molecules that we can find in the reaction. Then I multiplied that times 17 grams of ammonia over 1 mole of ammonia, because 17 grams is the mass of a single mole of ammonia. Then I did the whole operation, and the answer that I got was 1.3175 grams of ammonia. This is the procedure for question C. The first thing I did was copy the 225 grams of fluoride that are given to me in the problem. Then I multiplied that times 1 mole of fluoride over 38 grams of fluoride because 38 grams is the mass of a single mole of fluoride. Then I multiplied that times 1 mole of dinitrogen tetrafluoride over 5 moles of fluoride, because those are the amounts of moles of those molecules in the reaction. Then I multiplied that times 104 grams of dinitrogen tetrafluoride over 1 mole of dinitrogen tetrafluoride, because 104 grams is the mass of a single mole of dinitrogen tetrafluoride. I did the operation and the answer that I got was 123.153 grams of dinitrogen tetrafluoride. Now let's review the answers. For question A, the answer was 186.088 grams of fluoride. For question B, the answer was 1.3175 grams of ammonia. And for question C, the answer was 123.153 grams of dinitrogen tetrafluoride. And now the second problem. If the reaction below proceeds with a 96.8% yield, how many kilograms of calcium sulfate are formed when 5.24 kilograms of sulfurous oxide reacts with an excess of calcium carbonate and oxygen? This is the nomenclature for the second problem. 
Oxygen is an atom and therefore cannot be classified into the following systems. CO2 in classic system is called carbonic oxide. In stock system is called carbon 4 oxide. And in UPAC system is called carbon dioxide. SO2 in classic system is called sulfurous oxide. In stock system is called sulfur 4 oxide. And in UPAC system is called sulfur dioxide. CaCO3 is an organic compound, also known as calcium carbonate. And CaSO4 is also an organic compound known as calcium sulfate. The next thing I did, same as in the first problem, was calculate the molar mass of the atoms and molecules in the reaction. I did this by multiplying the mass of those atoms and molecules times the amount of moles there are of those atoms and molecules in the reaction. The answers that I got were 2 moles of calcium carbonate equals 200 grams of calcium carbonate. 2 moles of sulfurous oxide equal 128 grams of sulfurous oxide. 2 moles of oxygen equal 32 grams of oxygen. 2 moles of calcium sulfate equal 208 grams of calcium sulfate. And 2 grams of carbon dioxide equal 88 grams of carbon dioxide. This is the procedure to the second problem. First, I wrote the 5.24 kilograms of sulfurous oxide given to me in the problem and multiplied that times 1 kilomole of sulfurous oxide over 64 kilograms of sulfurous oxide. I replaced the moles for kilomoles in order to balance out the kilograms in the equation. 64 grams is the mass of a single mole of sulfurous oxide. Then I multiplied this times 2 kilomoles of calcium sulfate over 2 kilomoles of sulfurous oxide. I did this because 2 is the amount of moles of calcium sulfate and sulfurous oxide in the reaction. Then I multiplied this times 138 kilograms of calcium sulfate over 1 kilomole of calcium sulfate because 138 kilograms is the mass of 1 kilomole of calcium sulfate. I did this equation and the answer was 11.2125 kilograms of calcium sulfate. And then I multiplied this answer times 0.968 percent because they were asking me about the 96.8 percent yield and the answer to this was 10.8537 kilograms of calcium sulfate. Now we can review the answers. To our second problem our result was 10.8537 kilograms of calcium sulfate. Thanks for watching I hope it helped. Don't forget to like and subscribe.